Hey Crosslin, you wanna play some ping pong? Yeah, sure, man. Let's calculate the velocity of the ball. Here is the path of the ball. Now, in slow motion. Next thing, we will bring up the graph and plot the points. The points are 4, 1.5, 2, 2, 0, 1.9, negative 2, 1, negative 3, 0, and negative 4, 1.2. Now we're going to connect the dots to find the equation of the line. This is the equation of the line from negative 3 to 4.5. This is the equation from negative 4.5 to negative 3. Let's figure out the velocity. To find the velocity, you take the arc length divided by the time. Let's figure out the time. It took 0.7 seconds till the time per dock hit it till it bounced. From the time the ball bounced till it hit Crossland's paddle, it took 0.1 seconds. Now we can find the arc length. The arc length formula is the integral from A to B of the square root of 1 plus the derivative of f squared. First, we must take the derivative of f. These are the steps to take the derivative of the first equation. The first step is to take the product rule. From there on is simplifying. And now we have the derivative of the first equation. Now we must take the derivative of the second equation. Using the power rule, this is the derivative of the second equation. Now we have to square the derivative of the first equation. Now we have to square the derivative of the second equation. Now we plug in the derivative squared into the arc length formula. Plug in the first equation into the calculator and integrate it from negative 3 to 4.5. Next, we will plug in the second equation into the calculator and integrate it from negative 3 to negative 4.5. The velocity from negative 3 to 4.5 is the arc length over time. The velocity is 11.79 feet per second. From the time the ball hits the table until it hits Crossland's paddle, the velocity is 14.06 feet per second. 